What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we have this sound mitigating equipment or SME from Whip Machine. And what it is pretty much, it's a barrel shroud that goes over this super aggressive brake. Like their brake is very, very effective. I would not recommend using it with a lot of people around you or indoors, but if you want to use this brake like on a competition, it absolutely kills the small amount of recoil that 556 already has. It absolutely kills that little bit of recoil. But if you see on the side here, there's some cutouts on the side of the brake. And when you put this shroud on, it allows the gases and all the sound to escape but this sound mitigation device pushes all of the sound forward. It's not, oops, lost my BCG. Um, it's not a suppressor because it's opened at the end. It's not silencing or suppressing the sound. It's simply pushing it forward. And if you're, uh, if you have to let, let loose in a house, or definitely if you're in a competition shooting indoors, anything like that, I shot it indoors, the people around you will greatly appreciate it. The sound being pushed forward instead of being pushed out because this brake is so loud. So they make a couple different ones. As far as calibers first, they make 5.56, they make 9mm, 45, they make a 30 cal, uh, not a can, 30 cal SME, and they also make one made for suppressors. This one here is made from alumin aluminum. It's one and a quarter inch. It's a little bit bigger than the other one I'm about to show you, and I think it directs the sound forward better. I want to go say suppresses the sound. It's not doing that, but it directs the sound forward better because it's a bigger device and uh, it seemed quieter to me when i go back and watch the footage i just finished shooting these and i just finished my tactical games workout i don't know if you can see the sweat pouring off me but when i go back and watch the footage i'll see if this one is definitely quieter to the shooter i sh put the camera in front on the side behind all different ways so i can see how loud the camera registers and sees which, see which one is louder. So anyway, this one here, like I said, is aluminum. It's one and a quarter inches, and uh, they are swappable. The brakes, the brakes on both of these are both 416 stainless steel, and the brakes are the same. Ooh, that's still hot. <laughs> these things, like suppressors, you shoot them enough, and they get to be uh, the uh, uh, popsicle, the forbidden popsicle. Again, just the upper, so there's no safety concerns here for you safety Nazis. But uh, wow, that thing is hot. It does have some wrench flats on the bottom. They both do. Um, in case it gets locked on there with the carbon, you can easily get it off. This one here is the slim profile one. So if you want to fit it under a handguard, and I think that would look really, really slick, you can do so. I don't want to touch this thing because it's hot. Whew. Same brake again. The only difference is, wow, that's hot. This. <laughs> this one is also made from 416 and it's a little bit smaller again I don't think it diverts the gases and the sound quite as well, but it's very very close I just talked for the past two minutes and my camera was not on record What I was saying was besides this black color they also available in FDE I believe I told you all of the calibers already but 556 30 cal they make them for AKs 9 millimeter 45 thread pitches half by 28 or 5 8 by 24 depending on the caliber you get the price as of right now this second as I'm making the video these are 175 again they are not NFA items they ship right to your house they are not suppressors even though they kind of resemble on the outside on the inside it's very very different there's no baffles it's opened definitely not a suppressor um, if you are going to pick one of these up please hook me up do me that favor and use the link down in the video description it is an affiliate link uh, really really helps this channel out that little small kickback i get I'm telling you guys goes a long long way really really helps me out especially with the high cost of ammo uh, i did shoot these quite a bit so i shot both of these indoors i put a few dozen rounds through each of them indoors and uh, again this muzzle device this muzzle brake is super effective if you want to kill that little bit of recoil it does it just know it's super loud like any good muzzle device muzzle brake is it is a very very loud device but it kills all of that recoil if people are next to you they're probably going to hate you when you slide that shroud on again it uh, directs all of those gases and all the sound forward and makes it a lot, much more pleasant experience for you shooting and anybody else who's on the firing line with you uh, i also shot these outdoors two different days i put probably a few hundred rounds through both of them because again they're attached to uh, rifles that I'm reviewing multiple things. Like I have a trigger in this gun I'm reviewing. I have this optic from Maven Optics. I also have this optic from Swap Fox. So I have a lot of different AR reviews going on right now. 
and that allowed me to put more rounds through these than I normally would with the crazy cost of ammo. And again, if you decide to pick one of these up, I do not think you will be uh, disappointed. Other companies have done this, but not as well as Whip Machine. I think Whip Machine did a great job as of today, the best job making a sound mitigation device, pushing something forward. Again, not an NFA item. So that is all I have for you boys and girls today. Again, it is super simple device, but a very, very effective device. And those affiliate links will be down there if you want to hook me up and uh, use those affiliate links. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let me also thank my Patreon supporters. Those ladies and gentlemen are fantastic. I also want to thank the other companies who support me with affiliate links because they are also fantastic. The links to all of them are down in the video description. If you want to know what reviews I am working on right now, in real time before they come out, consider following me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Parler. Those are the four social media platforms I am on currently. More important than anything else, thank you guys for watching. When I say it is truly, truly appreciated, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Every single time you watch a video, like, comment, subscribe, every time you do any of that stuff, I truly appreciate it every single time. I'll see you guys later. Peace. So hey, guys, let me know. Do you like this style video or do you like the traditional video I do that's more polished at home? I know I said in the beginning, I think I said in the beginning of this video, but drop a comment. Let me know if you like these non-scripted range uh, reviews. I'll throw some more of them in. If it's not your jam, let me know. We'll stick in the, uh, in the studio where it's nice and cool. Be good. Be kind. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Later. Oh, that's louder. Holy crap. Very effective break, but very loud. All right, we're empty. Let's screw this bad boy back on. Wow. That was crazy, the difference. I want to do this. Let's see if you can hear a difference. Huh. Ugh.